So for this problem, to find the value or the values of x that will make this function discontinuous, so take note that the function becomes discontinuous if the denominator is equal to 0 because if the denominator is equal to 0, then that function becomes undefined or the square root of a negative number because the square root of a negative number is an imaginary number. So for this given, observe that this function, there is no denominator and there is no radical. So therefore, for this function, all values for x is continuous. Then for this function, so we just need to focus on the denominator and equate this denominator to 0. Then to solve for x, so x equals negative 5. So if x equals negative 5, this denominator becomes 0. And if the denominator is equal to 0, then this function becomes undefined. So therefore, the value for x that will make this function discontinuous is x equals negative 5. Then for this function, so again focus on the denominator and equate this to 0. Then we need to solve for x, so transpose this to the other side. So we have x squared equals negative 2. Then if we take the square root to solve for x, since this is square root of a negative number, and the square root of a negative number is an imaginary number, so therefore, there is no values for x that will make this denominator equal to 0. So for this function, all values for x is continuous. Then for this function, so from this denominator, equate this to 0 to solve for x and transpose to the other side. So we have x squared equals positive 4. Then take the square root. So for the square root of positive 4, this is equal to positive and negative 2. So from these values, if x equals positive 2, so 2 squared, that's 4 minus 4, so this becomes 0. And if x is negative 2, so negative 2 to the power 2, that's positive 4. Minus 4 also equal to 0. So therefore, the values for x that will make this function discontinuous. So x equals positive 2. And x equals negative 2. Then for this given, so from this denominator, equate this to 0. Then since this is a quadratic equation, so we can use the quadratic factoring to solve for x. So x squared is x times x and negative 14. That's 7 times 2. Since the middle term is positive, so the bigger number must be positive and this is negative. Then equate these two factors to 0. And to solve for x, so x equals negative 7 and x equals positive 2. So therefore, the values for x that will make this function discontinuous, so x equals negative 7 and x equals positive 2. Then for this function, since contains a radical, so the square root of a negative number 
is an imaginary number. So therefore, for this function, x must be less than 0 because for x less than 0, so all negative numbers. And for this function, so from this denominator, equate this to 0, then to solve for x, so x equals positive 5. Since the denominator contains a radical, so we need to test the before and after this value. So before 5, that's 4. And before 4, that's 6. So if x is equal to 4, so these are the values for x. So if x equals 4, so 4 minus 5, so this will give us a negative numbers. And if x equals positive 6, so x is positive 6, so 6 minus 5. So this will give us a positive numbers. So therefore, x must be less than or equal to 5. So the values for x that will make this function discontinuous. So x less than or equal to positive 5. Then for this function, so equate this function to 0. So we have 3 minus 2x equals 0. And to solve for x, so we have negative 2x equals negative 3. Then divide both sides by negative 2. So x equals positive 3 over 2. Since contains a radical, so we need to test the numbers the before and after this value, since 3 over 2 is the same as 1.5, so therefore, 1 is before and 2 is after. So these are the possible values for x. So if x equals positive 1, so 2 times 1, this is 2. And 3 minus 2, this is positive 1. So this will give us a positive value. Then if x equals positive 2, so 2 times 2, this one is 4. And 3 minus 4, so this is negative 1. So this will give us a negative values. So therefore, x must be greater than or equal to 3 over 2. So the values for x to make this function discontinuous, so x greater than or equal to 3 over 2.